Welcome to Monster Hunter World Iceborne, it's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to talk about things I wish I knew earlier. New mechanics, changes, and tips and tricks. Now remember to hit that like button as it shows your support. Alright, so how to access Iceborne. In order to access the new Iceborne story and quest, players must have completed the main story campaign from Monster Hunter World and reach Hunter Rank 16. Next is Pet Your Palico. If you take a dip in the hot baths, you will be able to take a part of one of the best features in Monster Hunter World Iceborne, and that is petting your palico. Yes, that's right. You can rub, you can carry it, you can dip its furry little body into water and splash water into its face, all while around the baths warm water. Hands down, one of the best features at it. Next is new gadgets for your palicos. First one is a large decoy. This new gadget will allow your palico to summon a decoy on the battlefield. This decoy will draw the attention of the monster away from the player. Next is a Meow Cano. The palico will be able to bring out a jar-like cannon that will shoot fire bombs everywhere. Alright, so the Vigor Wasp got a big upgrade too, which will now be able to instantly revive a hunter if they faint. Now this is good and bad. The bad about it is it will revive your hunter right away. But if the monster is still continuously attacking you, you will get carded anyways. So hopefully they will improve on this a little bit better. Next up is Raider Rides. Now you can ride at Tail Raider monsters with your Palico. Select Raider Ride Call from your item bar to summon the monster. Press the action button while next to it to get on it. You will be able to open the map and set a destination and your Tail Rider will take you there automatically. Keep in mind, you cannot control the monster directly. If you don't set a destination, then the monster will follow tracks. And last, the monster will get tired if you ride them too much. Next, three levels of difficulty. Iceborne is introducing a third type of difficulty to the game, two players. When taking part into a hunt with just two people, the game will now scale the monster's parameter for two players. Not only that, but it now if the player leaves or disconnects during the hunt, it will automatically scale the difficulty down to the appropriate level. Before, solo players had their own difficulty and multiplayers had their own and it didn't matter if they had two, three, or four players. Now there will be a difficulty for solo players, two players, and three to four players. Next is the Master Rank. Master rank difficulty option is a brand new quest tier above the high rank that will make new and existing monsters more ferocious than ever. Next up is the Clutch Claw. The Clutch Claw will grapple onto a monster and you can use your weapon attack to soften their hides or fire all your slinger ammo at once to stagger them. While grappling the head, you can change the monster direction with the claw attack. In addition to the Clutch Claw, there will also be new weapon actions. A good example is with the lance. How you can use the counter thrust and if you time this right, you will counter and grapple up onto the monster to do damage. Next is the new gathering hub. Saliana is a new base built as a headquarters for investigations. It will feature all the same facilities such as resources, the research center, the smitty and much more. It will have some new features such as the hot spring bath, sauna, and foot bath. Basically, everything will be more accessible so you don't have to leave the hub in order to make other changes. Next is view mode. View mode will allow players to gather hunters and palicos together for photos while changing their poses. This feature has been popular among some developers and publisher and is better known as photo mode allowing players to take screenshots of their characters and environment. Next is the craft all shortcut. Instead of crafting one by one and taking forever, you can now set the crafting shortcut to craft all. This will definitely save you a ton of time and help you out during the hunt. The layer armor. You can now forge layer armor with the Iceborne expansion. This will allow you to wear your favorite armor set while keeping the effects of your current armor equipped. Next are the nerfs and buffs. 
there is a lot of nerfs and buffs, but here are a couple that I notice. Great sword jumping slash attack has decreased. Heavy bow gun cluster bomb attack power has decreased. And the bow, I notice everything got decreased. It looks like they nerfed the stuff that speedrunners use. I will have a link in the description below if you want to check out all of them. There is a bunch. And last, I will show you the 19 new monsters coming to Iceborne, except for the new Nergigante. Most likely there will be more, but this is what I have for now. Plus, keep in mind, I will have a how to measure guide on the mini and giant gold crowns for all the new monsters. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you next time.